Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to set up our EC2 instances and we're going to use these EC2 instances for the rest of this section of the course uh, and we're basically going to look at all the different routing policies available to us and how they uh, interact with our EC2 instances. So this is a lab and you will need to log into the console. Okay, so here I am, I'm logged into the AWS console and I want you to take a note of which region you're in. Um, so I'm in the London region because I'm based out of London and I want you to select the region that is closest to your physical location. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to services and we're going to go to EC2 and we're going to provision two instances in the region that's closest to you and we're also going to provision an elastic load balancer. So let's go ahead and launch our instance. We're going to use the Amazon uh, AMI, Linux AMI, and we're going to do a T2 micro. And then in here, we're going to leave everything as default, except we're going to pass it a bootstrap script. Now, this is available in the resources section of the course, and I'll quickly just run through what the script does. OK, so here is our script. So we've got our shebang and our path to our interpreter, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. First thing we're doing is we're updating the operating system. Then we're installing Apache. Now we're using version 2.4 because it's the latest stable version of Apache. So that's all that 2.4 is. And then we're starting the Apache web service. So it becomes a web server. And then we're making sure that when this EC2 instance reboots that the um, HTTPD service comes back on. So the Apache service comes back on. And then in here, we've just got a simple HTML page. So it says, hello, Cloud Gurus, this is X. And then we're outputting that to our var www HTML directory, and we're writing it to index.html. So all I want you to do is just change this X. So we'll call this web server one, and perhaps even the region. So this is London web server one. And I want you to just copy and paste this script and put it into EC2. Okay, so we're gonna paste the script in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit next to add our storage go ahead and next add our tags and we're going to call this uh, we'll call it london web server one go ahead and uh, configure your security groups just use an existing security group of uh, my web dmz one that you've set up earlier so it just has to have http open to the world as well as ssh go ahead and hit review and launch and go ahead and launch this EC2 instance and use your existing key pair if you've got one. So go ahead and launch those instances. I'm gonna do it all over again, but we're going to create London Web Server 2. So I'm going to launch my instance. In here, I'm just going to go in uh, and use Amazon Linux AMI, T2 Micro, and again, we're in our advanced details, paste it in, but then change your London Web Server 1 to be London Web Server 2. Go ahead and hit next, add your storage and uh, your tags. So we'll call this London Web Server 2. Okay, and we'll use the same existing security group. Uh, so we'll use my web DMZ, review and launch, and go ahead and launch that. And then uh, just acknowledge that you've got access to the private key. And so there we go. We are now launching our two different EC2 instances. They're going to run a bootstrap script and they're going to create a simple little web page that says, I'm London 1, I'm London 2. Uh, what we want to do now is just create an elastic load balancer to put these behind. So go over to load balancers, um, create a new load balancer. Um, let's just do a classic load balancer and go ahead and hit continue. And then um, we're just going to do it on port, uh, on port 80, so for HTTP. Assign our security groups. Um, oh, we need to put in our, our load balancer's name, so call it my London ELB. And go ahead and add our security groups. Um, I'm going to put it in the same security group as my EC2 instances. And then I'm going to go and just configure a health check. We called it index.html. Um, in terms of the healthy threshold and unhealthy threshold, uh, let's just make this an interval of 10 seconds. And then we're going to have an unhealthy threshold of two and a healthy threshold of three. So basically 30 seconds between when this would come up and uh, it you know, being live on the elastic load balancer. Go ahead and hit next. Uh, and we're going to add our EC2 instances. So just add them both in there and go ahead and hit next. For tags, you don't really need to create any tags. Just go ahead and hit review and create and now hit create. And so now we have our elastic load balancer. Uh, that we've created in the region that's closest to us. So that's, uh, for me, it's in London. And we have two EC2 instances that are sitting behind it. Now I want you just to test this by um, copy and pasting the IP address and then um, just opening that up in a, a separate tab. 
Okay, so I've just uh, pasted in the IP address here. So you can see 52.56.56.128, uh, and it says, hello, Cloud Gurus, this is London Web Server 1. And so now I'm going to get my uh, Web Server 2, copy and paste this in. So it's ending in dot .52. Just going to paste it in here, and we should get, hello, Cloud Gurus, this is London Web Server 2. And then another thing we just want to test is our DNS resolution. So if we go back to our Elastic Load Balancer, uh, we can see here it's classic. If we just look at the instances, make sure that they're healthy and in service, which they are. Um, so you can go back to your description and just uh, paste in the DNS name. So it's my London ELB and uh, paste that in there. And then when you visit this Elastic Load Balancer, it will um, alternate between one and two. If you do a hard refresh, you'll see it's being balanced equally between the two. Okay, so we've set up two EC2 instances behind an elastic load balancer in the region that's closest to us. One last thing that we need to do now is we need to go over to a region that's as far away from you as physically possible. Um, so for me, I'm probably going to use Sydney, um, uh, you know, because it is over the other side of the globe. Um, so I want you to think of a region that's completely at the other side of the planet to you. And we're going to go in and we're going to create one EC2 instance and we're going to create one elastic load balancer as well. OK, so here I am in the EC2 console. I'm going to go over to Sydney, click on there. I don't know if I've ever used the Sydney uh, region before in this account, so I might not have my private keys and security groups set up, but we'll have a look. Uh, so no, it's all, all by default. So I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, an instance. I'm going to use the Amazon Linux AMI. I'm going to use a T2 micro and go ahead and configure my instance details. Now this bootstrap script, we're gonna paste in uh, the bootstrap script. So we've pasted it in here and we just wanna change the name. So instead of hello cloud gurus, this is London web server one, we will say this is Sydney web server one. Go ahead and hit next. And then in here, um, we're just gonna leave it as all default. So we're just gonna call it Sydney web server one, go ahead and hit next. And we're going to create a new security group. So we'll just call it Sydney DMZ, Sydney DMZ. And we'll do that for the same description. And then I'm gonna add in port 80 in here. And uh, that's it. And you'll notice here, you'll notice now that uh, with your CIDR address ranges, um, it's doing it in both IP4 and IP6. That's uh, very recent, so it's quite interesting. I'm um, we'll go ahead and hit next, and go ahead and hit launch. And then in here, we um, I don't have an existing key pair, so I'm going to create a new one, and I'm just gonna call it my Sydney key pair. And I'm gonna download that, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch my instance. So there we go, we have launched our Sydney instance. So go ahead and view those instances. And now all we need to do is create our Sydney ELB. So click on load balancers down here, hit create load balancer. I'm gonna use a classic load balancer again. And then I'm just gonna go in, leave everything as default. We'll call this my Sydney ELB. Go ahead and assign our security group. So we're gonna use that uh, security group that we just created. So go ahead and hit next and we'll go ahead and configure a health check. Again, I'm gonna change the intervals down to 10 seconds and I'm gonna change the healthy threshold to three. So it comes up within 30 seconds. And now I'm gonna add my EC2 instance, which is up and running. And I'm gonna click in here and gonna go next, add our tags. I'm just gonna leave that and go ahead and hit create. So we've now created our Sydney Elastic Load Balancer and we've put our EC2 instance behind it. Um, so what you want to do is just go in and check that your, um, you know, the, the bootstrap script has run successfully. So copy the public IP address and then just open up a new tab and paste that in. And I actually, I pasted it in and it took a, a little bit longer. I've actually beat the bootstrap script uh, in terms of trying to resolve that address. So do give it a couple of minutes. But there you go. It says, hello, Cloud Gurus. This is Sydney Web Server 1. Okay, so now we have, uh, and or we just want to double check one last thing. If you go back to your EC2 console, let's just make sure that our load balancer has the EC2 instance in service and that we can resolve the DNS name. Um, so I'm um, back in London for some reason. Hang on, I'll just go back over to Sydney. Click over here, go back to my load balancer. So here's my load balancer and we just go over to instances and you can see here, um, it says it's out of service. So I still need to probably wait another 30 seconds. 
and there we go I just refreshed it and now it's back in service uh, and the next thing I just want to double check is that I can resolve my DNS name so I'm just going to copy and paste that into a new tab make sure everything's working and there we go so right now we've got three EC2 instances around the world two in the region that's closest to you they're behind an elastic load balancer and we've got another EC2 instance in a region that's on the other side of the planet to you and it's behind an elastic load balancer and so now we're ready to start the route 53 uh, part of the course so if you've got the time join me in the next lecture thank you